going on everybody welcome back today I've got a solution to two problems which isn't to say that you face both simultaneously but you might but I'm going to address them both so the first problem is time right I'm sure most of you do some sort of food prep and whether you are in an off season and attempt to gain size or you are dieting a lot of times it is very tough to get your meals in on time, you're traveling, you've got a meeting, life is crazy, I get it. You need to get your macros in and you need to do it in a way that <laughs> doesn't have you just eating junk, right? A lot of you also are attempting to gain size and you find yourself facing a never ending battle of can't get enough calories to support the size that it is you're trying to gain. I've got a solution for both. So. You guys may or may not know that I had a hand in formulating this right here animal meal. Now it's a meal replacement powder and I don't want to take all the credit but I basically formulated it and I formulated it with a few things in mind. Number one, I'm not going to speak for all of you watching but for a lot of people and I'm definitely one of them, digestibility is a big issue. Now most of the products out there are whey protein based and I've got nothing against whey protein other than I have a really, really hard time digesting it. So it doesn't matter whether it's the finest isolate, whatever it is, I don't believe that I have a lactose problem. I believe that I have a problem with dairy proteins. And I think a lot of people share that uh, same issue because over the years, a lot of people complain that when they consume whey protein, they feel like hell. If that's not you, beautiful. Um, because I think if you can use whey and benefit from it, I think it's an outstanding product. But for a lot of people, they can't tolerate it. So when it came to the protein sources for animal meal, it's a blend of beef, egg, and pea protein. And that, that achieves a couple things. No dairy, okay, and it's highly digestible. And it has a really strong amino acid profile. When it came to adding carbohydrates, right, you're stuck with oats, sweet potatoes and a little bit of dextrose. Now, a lot of people say, well, why would you add dextrose to it? Because per serving, you're getting about 50 grams of protein and about 50 grams of carbs. Now, it's not like every single gram of those carbohydrates has to be complex. Now, dextrose, okay, can very readily be stored as glycogen. So why have 50 grams of essentially hard to digest carbohydrates when you don't need to? I can tell you, all right, my favorite time to use this stuff is prior to training. Now, that wouldn't be the case if it was gonna screw up blood sugar. I can consume this stuff prior to training, I could have an hour and a half long session, and I'm perfectly steady throughout. No blood sugar spikes, no drops, nothing. And I work with a lot of people, and I have a lot of my clients use it, and everyone says the same thing, all right? They're nice and steady throughout their training, but also, they could use it at any, any point during the day when it's difficult to get in calories. Now, we address the protein, we address the carbohydrates, what about the fats? Egg yolks and olive oil, right? No garbage ingredients in this stuff. It's 100% natural, no artificial flavors, sweeteners, colors, preservatives, etc. It is through and through, in my opinion, no, you know what, not even in my opinion. I'm gonna just say it straight out. You're not gonna find a better meal replacement on the market, okay? From the standpoint of it being natural, from the balance of macros, right? 50 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat, very, very balanced, and the digestibility. It digests like a dream. So I've used other meal replacements where maybe it had a good balance of macros, right? But the digestibility of it was horrible. Or I've used other ones where they were all natural, but it was like loaded with fiber and maybe didn't have enough protein and it just wrecked my stomach. So I've yet to find one that comes even close to this, but what I'm gonna show you is how to use it to make what I consider to be the ultimate gainer's shake. And I'm gonna use this as the base. Now, you don't have to make a gainer shake, right? This stands as a viable meal replacement all on its own. But for those of you who are really trying to pack in calories, I'm gonna show you something that's gonna be massively beneficial. You have to keep in mind, when you're trying to gain size, it's not just about making a shake with a thousand or 2000 calories. That's very easy to achieve. What that is not gonna help you do, oddly, is increase your total calorie intake. And I'm gonna tell you why. You go ahead and you consume a really, really high calorie shake. Chances are it's gonna have some not so great ingredients in it. What that's gonna do, you're gonna take down that shake 
and maybe you're gonna get an extra thousand calories. And guess what? You're not gonna be able to eat for another five or six hours. You're gonna be just totally stuffed and your gut is gonna be in a state of total distress. Being able to consume something that's calorie dense, okay, what I'm gonna show you is about 750 calories and the beauty of it, you're probably gonna be able to eat an hour later. Now you're in a position where you can really rack up calories in an effort to gain size. Let me show you how it's done. Now, this couldn't be easier. We're gonna use two scoops of animal meal, one tablespoon of oil. Now, I've got macadamia nut oil. It doesn't have to be macadamia nut oil. Could be avocado oil, could be olive oil. Whatever you like is totally fine. And we've got a banana. All three together, because we're gonna blend this with water, you're looking at about 750 calories. You could use something else. You could use milk, you could use almond milk. You could use something that's gonna jack the calories up. I would tell you to stick with this because I know that this digests so well. And again, the key to gaining size is not only consuming a calorie dense source of food, but being able to do it repeatedly and consistently and uh, often throughout the day. So let's do it. I've got about a cup of ice in the blender. I'm gonna add water until I've got about 16 ounces, right, with the ice. One tablespoon of oil. And if you guys have never used oil in a protein shake, oh, it smooths it out, it's, it makes it delicious. Add a banana. Use two fairly rounded scoops. Blend this bad boy up. <laughs> Sounds like a jet taking off, doesn't it? It's like five horsepower. All right. I mean, you could take it down right out of the blender, and it's it's fairly, you know, it's fairly liquid. That's another thing about animal meal. There's no extra gums or thickeners or fibers, so you don't have to use a ton of water with it. And the beautiful thing is you don't want gums and fibers and shit taking up extra room in your stomach. A lot of companies add them to increase the thickness, change the mouthfeel. Not necessary. All it's going to do is take up prime real estate in your stomach. That is delicious. Not only are you going to get 750 calories, all right, and is it delicious and easy to do, but you're going to be able to eat in about an hour from now. And when it comes to putting on size, consistent consumption of quality calories. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. Consistent consumption of quality calories, right? That is what matters. And that's gonna be the difference between success and failure. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.